Hey, hi, I'm Usher Bonnie here with Door County Sled Dogs. We're going to teach you what we think is the number one foremost command that every person who starts out in any kind of dog-powered sports should know, and that's line out. We call it line out, tighten up, stay, because we get dogs that maybe they have some sledding experience, but we don't know their commands, so we kind of want to cover anything. So here's Buddy. Buddy's been told to line out, tighten up, stay. Good, Buddy. And that means he's going to hold his line out at all times. He's a lead dog, and any dog you're starting out with, with would probably be in the same position. And when you hook your dog up to your bike or to yourself um, or to your skis or to your sled, the last thing you want is for your dog to be coming back to you. It makes you absolutely crazy. You get really mad, and it's not fair to the dog because they're not doing anything wrong. So you need to teach them to line out, tighten up. Once they're hitched into that harness and you say that, they need to stand in front of you, not, not coming back to you because then you can hitch any other dogs up or you can walk back. Stay, buddy. Line out, tighten up. You can walk back to your sled and the dog is still there waiting for you so that you can tell them it's time to go. You can work around and get your stuff ready and that's the way it's supposed to be. Uh, no lunging leaders in this world, not with the Door County sled dogs. So Buddy did a great job of just showing you what it looks like when they know how to do it. Bob's over here. We're going to say, Bob, line out, tighten up. You're a good boy. In our case, if we want to hitch up a team of 12 or if it was going to be 16, these dogs would hold, be holding that line out and nobody would get in trouble. Nobody would get hurt. Now here's two dogs and they know how to do it. And so we're going to take them off real quick and I'll give uh, Bob to you, uh, my shirt Dennis. And we're going to show you a dog that's never done this before. Now, of course, it's easier if you have a dog showing them how to do it, but Dennis is going to come back and take Buddy away pretty quick, aren't you? And we're going to pretend that... Yeah, we're going to pretend that Musher Christine here has Jade, and Jade's a wonderful, wonderful dog. He is a lead dog. He did run the Iditarod, but he doesn't know line out or tighten up. Isn't that unusual? And that would really help Christine a lot. So she's got a dog here who's a terrific dog, just like all your dogs would be, and she wants it to learn how to tighten up. This exercise training takes five minutes, five minutes, three days, and your dog will always do it. The key is... Did somebody uh, pick up my neckline I had? I need a neckline. Oh, I'll get it for you. When we have our video that talks about how to make dog ropes, lines, leashes, we make a lot of these kind of extra, uh, we call them necklines, but we use them because, because we can make long leashes out of them, put them together, and we use it uh, for line-out training. The key is not to touch the dog if you don't, if you don't have to because touching is what the dog likes, and we're not going to give it that kind of gratification. So we're going to, we've hitched him up, we're going to say, Jade, okay, Jade, come on, line up, tighten up, watch me use my knee. Line up, good boy, stay. Line out, tighten up, stay. Good, stay, good line out. Good line out. Good, Jade, good. Touch him if I can help it. Let's see how quick I'm going to try to do it. Look impatient. In the beginning, we don't mind too much if they're sitting just so they're out in front of us. Come on, line out, tighten up. Good. Good, Jake. Good. Stay. Line out. Same vocabulary. The smarter the dog, the more you have a need for the vocabulary. Use our knee. Line out. Good. Good line up, good. Good. Tighten up, because we want him to hold it tight. Good, very good. Good line out, stay. Five minutes, six minutes, stay. Come on, Jay. Line up, line up. Good, Jay, good. Be appropriate. We could let that happen if we wanted to in the beginning. We'd say, good line out. And tight line. Stay. Good. Stay. Stay. Good. Good line out. Good. The idea is to not touch your dog. Try to work from behind would be best.
into his harness, Christine. Good. Good. Good line out. Good line out. One more time. Christine, and you're going to have a dog that's going to hold a big old team out. Good job. Good line out, Jade. Good. Dark County Sled Dogs. Yep. With Jade, one of our volunteer dogs. You're a great dog. Okay.